right, thank you so much for coming back again. Winning with Blends, we're getting into more FL Studio Mobile production tips, tricks, tutorials, and all the goods, guys. If it's your first time here, please do subscribe to the channel. But sit tight, you know, get your headphones on, check out what we're going to get into today. Um, as a matter of fact, what we're going to get into is how to create catchy melodies. And so this technique, there is no single technique, and there are many ways of doing this because you could be playing different types of instruments. Perhaps you're even singing. Maybe it's a piano, perhaps you're using a piano roll, MIDI keyboards, a saxophone, you name it. It could, there, there are many ways, but I'll go over some of the, I guess, some of the fundamental techniques and some of the tips that I would recommend to consider using if you want to actually create some good catchy melodies, okay? Because otherwise, you know, if a melody is not catchy, then kind of like, what is it, you know? So, you know, hit the like button, all that good stuff. Check out the comments below. And I want you to check the video description because I've got some links there that you might be interested in, some things that could benefit you, as well as do check out my other channels and so forth. Okay, let's get into things. So what I would do first things first, let's look at what a melody is, okay? As a melody is defined by various platforms, you'll see that it is some type of agreeable, agreeable or sweet succession or arrangement of sounds, Okay, look at the word agreeable. So they sound good together. They're sweet. Um, you know, who knows? Um, another way of looking at it is perhaps a rhythmic succession of different tones that are organized in as an aesthetic whole. That's one definition. I kind of took words from a couple of places and put them together. Essentially, you want something that's congruent and you want these sounds to work well together. It's pretty simple, right? That's what melodies are. And some other places may even define it as being something that's memorable. So we'll get into that and see what we can do. So one thing I would do first things first, if I were to start at tip one, I would say start with the piano. Okay, so let's go to the piano. We're going to go to essential pianos and we'll choose a piano. Let's just see, I've got my controller set up. Okay, let's use the closed grand piano. Okay, how about that? All right, so now what we're gonna get into is creating a melody. So that's one thing. I would say start with the piano for various reasons. If you're sending this to a singer or other musicians, um, sometimes it's better to use a piano for, for many reasons. For one, when you're looking at MIDI, some of the MIDI notes for different instruments, they don't really take into account the length of your press. Maybe they're really wild. Perhaps they have a long tail. Uh, perhaps they're got a lot of distortion or they're, they're detuned. So many things, you know? Sending somebody a melody and a bass line and vocals, you name it, written in piano, makes it super, super easy for people to, to grasp it and maybe to characterize it in their own way or just to figure it out and hear the sounds and decipher what is what, is what so that they could then re, uh, recreate that in their own way with their own instruments. So a piano is the simplest way. It's like creating a picture, maybe a blueprint or writing you know, drawing a picture in pen or in pencil, just not coloring it, which is a wireframe. It gives people a clear idea of what this item is or what in the, in this case, what this melody is. Okay. So now you may want to consider getting a scale. We've definitely talked about this in previous videos, whether you're super good or you're not with piano or just music in general, you know, FL Studio Mobile has the ability to give you scales. So you can, you can audition your scales. Okay. Okay. There are many ways. So let's just choose a scale. Perhaps the C major or the or the A minor will be kind of the simple, simplest way to start. So let's just do A minor just for now. As a matter of fact, guys, why don't we just do something a little different? Okay, let's do an E minor. Let's try that out. Ooh. So what I would say, perhaps one note, one way to do it is to start with your bass notes. And that is going to give you kind of, let's say, a foundation for what you want to create. Okay, so we'll use the piano just like we are right now, but we're going to focus on bass notes and then we're going to build those into chords. Okay, and of course, we're also going to consider the rhythm that we're going to use. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So let's go with our root note. Let's go to E, okay, so let's just press play. Let's choose a tempo that's not too fast. Let's go to 130. Okay. So here we go. Let's 
let's try this. Okay, so we got that so far. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're going to fill out these notes and we're going to consider looking at repetition. We're going to create our chords first now. So we can just simply do one, two. It's getting kind of thick. So what I'll do is I will move these all up one octave here. And let's see what we can do. Move them up one octave. And so that we're not so... Let's see... Let's go. There we go. Okay, there we go. So our root note is that C right there. So we'll just do for now one, one, two, four. Let's do five. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Okay. A little bit high pitch. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's bring it down right down to here. So what we're doing right now is we're taking our root note, which we had with the E, right? And we're going to create a melody, but fill it out with different chords, okay? Find a chord, find chords that sound good to you. So this will be about here. higher okay okay so it's pretty decent so what we're doing is we're spreading these notes across octaves okay so I want this one to be a little higher okay let's drop this here Okay, so I'm also actually getting into my main melody. But again, these are just chords. Okay. Simple in a way. We're filling out these these chords. And now what I would say is when it comes to your notes, you've got your root notes, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. So I would say sometimes not all the time but sometimes it's it's best to work with let's say one two three five and seven okay so no guarantees on that one but just just to kind of put it in a way where you can those notes are allow you to move up and down the scale and up and down octaves which gives more emotion makes it more engaging to me where it's not you know the notes are not all jump bunched into a small range you can actually increase the octaves maybe pitch go down one octave go up one octave for for certain notes so let's see if we can do let's see if we can fill some out so we've got our basic bass line here so quickly i'm going to close this for one quick second so what i may do is if i know that i've got my bass line with one two three these one two three four notes i may actually duplicate this just let me quickly show you i'm just going to i'm going to load up just a bass sound okay uh, you know virtually uh, any bass let's do a tuned 808 okay and let's see if we can, no, no no that's not what i want let's see if we can do a tuned 808 for now and let's see if we can get a let's see no clean do a kick okay so what i'll do is for example i will duplicate this and i will because if i've got my bass notes there ooh, it's gonna get really heavy what i would do is i would delete all these other notes that are not part of the bass line okay so let's just listen to this right now okay let's solo that all right so maybe not the exact sound we want Let's go for something. Let's try one of these Brazilian basses. Okay. That I'm using that sound, guys, mostly because it, it cuts through the mix, right? And I know that you can hear this, whether it's in mono or stereo. This is, you know, it's got enough move, movement in the sound that it's going to cut through. So may not be perfect, but... 
And here I may actually go ahead, may delete these notes, may, right? Just so that we can flesh out this sound and the, the range of sound. But for now, I'll keep them in there. I will keep those in there, okay? And I will also mute this bass line. So now what we're gonna do, now that we've spread our notes across, let's make this one a little bit better. I'll put this right here, kind of that sweet note right there. See that? There we go. Okay. So now, now that we've spread those notes across the spectrum of octaves, we've got more of a, something that's got more movement. Now, of course, we can always adjust the velocity. Everything here, as you see, is all going to be one. If I were to scroll down and I move this, you'll see that these are all different levels, right? So we'll we'll get into the octave into the leveling later. But for now, let's just oops, let's just get our main melody down in a way, okay? And so, and this is like the core, the core of what we're doing, the foundation. So now what we're gonna do is try to get into some higher octaves so that we can actually find a complementary melody. I would say what we have so far is good chords and a good foundation for some of the bass tones, but we want to start to find more repetition and more of a melody in what we're doing. So let me do this. I'm going to extend this. Okay, we're gonna double it. And I'm going to copy this and we will make some changes to the second repeated portion, okay? So that we have the ability to have more of an enjoyable movement, um, some enjoyable movement with our sound. So let's let's find, um, let's go up an octave and, okay, so let's do this and let's do this half. Okay, so let's see. So sometimes what you could do is find a rhythm that you want by using the exact same note. Just use the, the, the root note and think to yourself, how do I want this rhythm to go? So for example, so it's an E like dun 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 just for example dun 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 right dun dun and, and we'll add we'll we'll change the notes later dun Let's see. Okay. Let's do it like this. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Let's move this over here. Okay. So let's just say we like this so far. Let's keep moving though. Okay. It's a bit on the off. It should be on the off. Let's zoom in here. Probably about there. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Okay. And, um, hmm. all right. Da, 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 da. Okay, so let's drop in here. One, two, three. Okay, maybe that's not exactly what I want there. Okay, so let's just say we like that as a rhythm, okay, as a melody, as the rhythm, sorry, okay, so now what we want to do is find notes for these. This is one of the simpler ways. You can, like, typically I would just go and play the notes and, and explore as I feel fit, but for now I'm going to show you guys maybe one of the simpler ways. We just, we got a rhythm, dun, dun, so, dun, let's see, dun, dun, dun. Let's see if we can jump it there. Okay. Let's bring it down here. Bring this one here. 
here. Up, da, 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 da. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay, so there we go. So that is a melody. All right, we definitely created a melody. Let me see if I can do a different note here. down there okay let's bring it down to this note oops there we go so now what i would do is as well let me see let me hear sure sounds great to me okay so we just what we did was we used a little bit of repetition so so dun, 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 and the back again dun, dun, a little bit of repetition dun, dun, dun. And we, of course, we can do even more repetition, but let's keep it like that for now for that part. So what I would do now is now that I've created a decent bass line, we could still make adjustments there, but we created a, a decent bass line. We created some chords and now we have uh, kind of like a foundation to work with. And we have a melody that uses, of course, the same notes, just one octave higher, maybe two octaves higher. But now what we want to do is we want to start finding new sounds perhaps, okay? So one of the things is, again, we need to adjust the levels and this might be the best time to do so. So let's go find a sound. I'm going to find a lead sound. Guys, this might not be the perfect sound, but just bear with me for now, okay? Uh, let me see if I can find a synth lead. Let's see, let's see. Let's use that sound, fine. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll copy this and let's see, let's drop this right here. And what I'll do is I'll definitely drop these bass notes. Definitely. You don't need these notes here at all. Let's drop these. Okay. So now I'm going to mute this. And you'll see what we've got so far. Okay. And so here what we'll do is, as well, we will duplicate this since we didn't do that. We don't want this thing to be repeating twice in a row. What we want is something that's got a little more movement. And the last note, we'll bring up here. Let's see, maybe up here. Okay. All right. course here we have other functions that we can work with we can adjust the this particular sound all right so those are some real major techniques you can use to create simple melodies complex melodies now we can dive even deeper maybe take it another octave up and start adding other elements we can add some flurries here and there we can and of course, this is just essentially our root, um, uh, let's say, note here. This is our root, not file, but we've got all of these notes here to choose what we want. So we can always, for example, copy this. We can open a new sound. Let me just find one new sound before we run. I'm going to use a guitar. Let's see if we can use acoustic guitars and find something. Let's see. Let's do that. And let's see if we can copy and paste this here and see if we can get anything out of this. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So what we may do here is we may actually move this up one octave. Oops. Let's make sure we get everything. So guys, I know we're going a little bit long, but that is part of it. Um, we could go, let's say, transpose by 12. We'll go up. Um, we could, let's see, we could use double up or double down we may not want to do that for this because if we double up it's going to double everything let me just show you what it does it doubles up one octave everything so maybe maybe not bad right it's actually kind of cool 
but it's really a lot of notes. So let's just undo that. And what we can do is we can do like this and let's transpose by, let's do 24. So we go up uh, two octaves here. Let's see. Okay. And we can adjust, we can go like this. Let me extend these, all of these notes. Let's just extend them a bit. Okay. Okay. All right, let's change this bass sound for now. See if we can find a, a sound that's a little... Let's go to synth bass. Hmm. Ooh, it's really low. Ooh. But this is why I would recommend starting with the piano. Because not all of these sounds that you're triggering are going to be respecting the velocity or not so much the velocity but um just the the, the the midi presses how long you held it again they may have longer tails shorter tails so so what we'll do here as well it might be a little bit low so i will actually up this let me make sure i zoom out enough i will actually uh, move this up one so let's transpose let's do 12 and there we go there we go. And just to make sure it cuts through the mix, again, you, you guys know, let's just add a little distortion, some harmonics. And of course, we haven't done any type of mixing, guys, but, oh, and my camera's dead. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know what happened there, guys. But, um, I, I hope that you guys learned something in this one. I hope that there was something useful here. I'm glad you guys are with me, of course. Guys, so, um, let's see what is really going on with this. <laughs> This is hilarious. Uh, it happens, right? <clears throat> so, thank you, thank you so much for this for for joining me, guys. I appreciate your time today, as always. Um, you know, take it easy, guys. Until next time, take care. <laughs>